we're accessible, we're always available. If you feel like we missed something, if you have a legitimate scientific disagreement with us, you know, we're happy to hear your side of it. We're not perfect. Um, sometimes we overlook things, sometimes we misunderstand the previous literature, and sometimes we don't understand maybe the picture the way that you see it. And so we want your perspective and we want a chance to discuss it with you. If we've made an error, if we've missed something, we want to hear about it. So we're very open to, to um, reconsidering decisions. I think for an author, it's important to wait a couple of days, let it settle in, talk through the reviews and the editor's letter with your co-authors. And if you really think that the, that the editor or the reviewers missed something important, then I think um, you can write back and explain and describe um, your point of view um, and ask to speak to the editor. Well, I think it helps to be specific. Um, I think if an editor is doing their job, they're going to point out certain things about the manuscript they didn't like and certain reasons, for example, for having rejected it. And I think if you as an author disagree with that, it helps if you can go back to the editor and say, okay, these are some reviewer comments or these are some editorial comments that I disagree with and here's why. So here's some examples from the literature or here's um, something that we're preparing that's going to help explain this. But I think if you just come back and you take an angry tone and say, I disagree with the reasoning, you're probably not going to get anywhere. Certainly set up a phone call uh, and try to give your rationale why you disagree. And if you can convince the editor and if your uh, explanation is justified, an editor will certainly be receptive. Step one, sleep on it. Uh, after you've looked at the letter and thought about what it says, you may decide that, yeah, that was the right decision. I understand why Cell Reports doesn't want to publish my paper. They weren't being mean to me. Uh, however, after you've slept on it, if you still think there are, there are some mistakes there, either something we missed or maybe better than that, not so much something we missed, but something you could provide, something new that you could provide that would change our minds. For example, I see that you rejected my paper because we didn't show X. Well, we'll do that experiment. We can show X. Then would you be interested? That's a great response. 